Finally, I get to do another video. My goodness, it's been so busy in the ICF market. I just haven't had a chance to keep up with all you guys doing ICF videos. There's so many really good ones out there. And we're just trying to keep up, my goodness. But thankfully, we've got all of you guys doing ICF videos on your own sites. And that's actually helping everybody out a lot. And we thank you for that. But this video is not going to be your typical basement. This isn't going to be your Fox Blocks high rise, your theater, or house going to the roof, which is happening every single day now. This is going to be different. This is going to be landscaping. Now, before you shut this off, you'll be in shock when you see the finished result because they're always amazing. And I got to give you a little bit of backstory before we get into this. Why is this called Caden's Place? I'm going to tell you that in a bit, but first we need a backstory. So if you back up a decade ago, exactly 10 years ago, I received a phone call from a good friend of mine, Randy Clausen, Clausen Concrete, and he said to me, I'm on my way home, I'm flying back from World of Concrete, and I'm doing a job in the Winnipeg Zoo called Toucan Ridge. And they just had their schedule condensed by, by a lot, and they didn't know if they could pull it off. And they needed help, and they saw our product and thought, maybe we could do it with Fox Blocks, and it would save us some time. In the end, they saved three weeks of labor on that job because they used Fox Blocks. And to do that, he said, well, I've already got the footings in, so I don't know what we can do. So I went there the next day, and this is what I saw, these footings. And it, like, there's no 90s, there's no 45s, it's all over the place. And I asked him, so did you plan that? And he said, yeah, I want to make it look natural. He didn't think about 90s and 45s. So, okay, let's just get a whole bunch of straight block and start building. And so this is what we started to build right here. And just to, to shorten this up, I have a 40-second video that will show you the scope of the project and the finished result. And so just watch this and then I'll be right back. So what do you think of that? That's pretty neat, hey? That is using ICF in a completely different way. So this is what the project looks like now. This is 10 years later, 10 years of use on that vertical concrete that Randy put up with all that color and everything. And it still looks awesome. And in fact, looking through these pictures here, you'll see this is where people sit every day, every five minutes, there's another family on there, or probably every two minutes, taking a photo of the backdrop. And so they're using that to stand on and sit on, and all the animals are doing their stuff on it, and it still looks fantastic. So now let's fast forward. We'll go another few years forward, and my phone rings again. Randy's on the phone again. Hey, uh, we got these things with concrete decor at World of Concrete. We're wondering if we could use Fox Blocks to build them. So let's do coffee again. And it ended up, long story short, we started to build booths like this, large booths. And it was fantastic because they needed vertical walls to put their concrete mix on and to carve rock work on and do different types of finishes made with concrete against the flat surface. And ICF's a perfect flat surface. So Fox Blocks, again, came in there and built walls. And we did that for years up until 2020, we did 2020 World of Concrete. 2021 was kind of a bust with this, what's all going on in the world, but we were doing that, and these are the kind of booths that we were building. Aren't those pretty neat looking booths? That was so much fun, kind of fun. Building those walls in Las Vegas with the winds, oh, it, it was tough sometimes, but some of those booths were 40 foot square. Big booths we did. And every year it was very different, very good group of people too that we got to work with. My goodness, there are amazing people doing that, that vertical concrete. That's a craft in itself. And I got to work with them, that was a privilege. So anyways, let's fast forward to this year, 2021. Kind of a different year, right? 
Well, I got another phone call, and it was, again, Randy. And he has a company now that he runs called Specialty Projects, which really fits who he is, because he's not really your typical ICF guy. He works more with the carving and the staining. And I get to come see his work, which is pretty amazing. I really have that privilege. So we got to do coffee again, apparently. Calls me up, we go for coffee, and he says, hey, I have an opportunity to do a job with a boy named Caden, a 12-year-old boy, and he has a rare genetic disorder and a, and a long list of other health issues, and it makes it very difficult for him and his parents. And this, this season's been tough, too, because he just can't get out. You're sort of cooped up at home, right? And they don't want to see him miss out on what the rest of the kids get to have. And so they want to make a backyard that's special. They want to make a backyard that's going to really help him to develop and to um, just build up his energy, get him exercise, things like that, and to help the parents out as well. And so Randy got the opportunity to help design some backyard stuff. You're going to see what he built soon. And we call that Caden's Place, which is kind of, kind of neat, actually, once you see the whole scope of this. So Randy starts going into the designs, and this is what he shows me at the coffee shop. Okay, how are we going to do that? And how does Fox Blocks fit into that? And so he worked through all these different designs until he came up with this here one, which I saw and I went, okay, you know what? We can make that work. And I think I have an idea with it, so I got out the mini blocks and I started putting them together and came up with this, that I could do a proper estimate and we could get a good scope of the project to see where we needed to underpin it and things like that. Right. Well, unfortunately, when all the pricing came in, it was way over budget. There was no way they could do it. So it went beyond the scope of what the owners could put together. And so I went to Fox Blocks and said, you know, this is a unique opportunity, and it's right in my hometown, so I can get there and I can video it, I can document it. And we have a manufacturing plant close by. There are a whole lot of positives towards this type of a project. Like, we can't donate product to every project out there. We'd be doing that every day of the week. But this was a unique one. And so I asked them if we could actually help them out on this project. And so it, they came back saying, absolutely, we'll give them everything. So it was free. So that was the start. That was good. So I called up Randy, said, hey, is this going to help? We can do this. And in our manufacturer, H HW Manufacturing, our local manufacturer here, they found out about it and they said, hey, we're going to give all of the EPS billets, all of the chunks of foam that they use for the rock work, we're going to give that for free. And they're going to deliver everything for free. So that was a huge, huge help for us as well. And then other companies started to find out what was going on. And the phone started to ring. And Randy, all of a sudden, he calls me up. He said, hey, guess what? We're going to do the project. Everybody's donating everything, and we're going to bring this thing under budget. Not just to budget, but he brought it under budget. What, what an opportunity. So it, it brings goosebumps. It's kind of cool, actually. So here we go. We're back in starting to work. So now let's get into the video, and we'll start watching how this thing comes together. I hope you guys enjoy this. And you're going to laugh when you see these walls going up. Oh my goodness, it's not your normal ICF. This isn't nice straight walls. We want crooked walls. Really, we want crooked walls. In fact, it got to the point where we said, you know what? We don't really know how it's going to work with the rebar. So let's do a, a hybrid. We did rebar and helix. So we threw that in just so that we know we're covered. And then we put additional piles underneath. We use screw piles. So when you, you see in the video when I refer to the screw piles, that's what they are. They're actually, it's a helical pile that they drill into the ground. It doesn't make any mess. They can go into the backyard with a skid steer and put them in. Very, very simple. And it supports the load. So it's really, really an ideal way to do these type of projects. So watch this. I hope you guys enjoy it. This first video, we're going to just do showing building the block. And then in, a, in the next video, we'll go into placing concrete and maybe start doing the vertical concrete and hopefully in the end 
This all works out that we can show you the waterfalls and things that are gonna be happening, all because Foxbox is being used as the backbone for the product. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, look forward to the next video as well. Fox Compact to do a bunch of rock work around a, a swimming pool. And this is for a backyard for a handicapped kid that can't get out. And with this season that we're in with the pandemic, they can't go out to outdoor pools and things like that. So they're gonna do this in their backyard. So there's a whole bunch of companies donating stuff for this project, including Fox Blocks. And in the next week or so, we're gonna get these walls built full of concrete. And then Randy gets to start putting concrete stonework around. And a lot of you guys have seen that. The, the walls that we've done at uh, World of Concrete and places like that, and all that stonework we put up is so much fun to watch. And I'm going to try to capture that in video and try to shoot a video every day and get that out so that you guys can see Fox Blocks in action underneath, holding up, giving the strength for rock work. So look forward to it. Hey, we're doing this wall. It's really windy out. Sorry about that, but we're doing this wall. Put the first row down. You can pretend it's on a footing. This one's actually on piles. It's hard to see here, the piles, but we have these helical piles drilled in. That's going to support this thing. And now what I'm going to do, I just made a cut every 16 inch on the back side of this wall. Now I'm going to come here with another row. And because it's curving a little bit, it's really hard to do. So what I do is I get this first web down, take a clip on it. But I clip these things down so that they're holding and they're not going to lift up again. Then I can come back to this other one and move them into position. Bang them around. And as I do the second row, it actually helps me to make the curve, which is really good. And on this whole wall, I actually, because of what we're doing here, I used a lot of clips. And now I can bend this out. And as I bend it out, I'll actually put shims into the joint just to hold it temporarily. I shim from the outside so I can pull the shims back out again later. But I push, I'm pushing with my knees and I'm getting this thing so it's starting to turn, right? And then this one here, I'll put a little bit in. You can see I'm starting to get the turn. And I'm just gonna keep building that way. And these gaps are open, oh, well, three quarter inch, almost an inch in some places. I'll make sure that they're tight down. And then I'm gonna take some of this big gap filler spray foam. I'm just gonna fill those gaps up. Once that is solid, then I'll pull those wedges out. We'll have a beautiful wall. Very easy to do. And you can actually create some really nice curves and you can adjust it just with a simple wedge by holding it into position. And I like to do that after two rows because I have a little bit more control because this inside face is actually holding itself together. I'm actually have, with these type of walls, I like to have a two foot overlap. And that way I've got a really nice balanced wall. And you can see a little bit of this curve happening already. So it's a real nice gentle curve, very easy to do. Okay, so check this out. I put this all together and there's a concrete pump that's screaming right beside me, but hopefully you can understand me. I put this all together and I got out the spray foam and I spray foam the bottom coarse joints together. That's gonna lock it into place. I just took some extra foam in a few spots here. Here I have a broken off compact piece I put in and I jammed it against the earth just to get this curve nice and solid right through. And you can see that, isn't that nice? So the first two rows are done. I've, I clipped on every tie on this one vertically, just to hold everything, make it anchored, push this outside out, open those gaps, put the spray foam in. Now I'll walk away from it and let it stiffen up and we'll be ready for when we're um, moving on up. It'll give us a good foundation, a good solid base. Hey, another awesome day. Look at this, blue sky, no wind, just below freezing, the birds are going crazy. 7 a.m., the construction workers are just starting up. 
going to be an awesome day working with specialty projects, working on this retaining wall with Fox blocks. So you say we have a seat here. Yeah. They're going to sit down. They're going to have a wall coming out over the pool, actually over the pool. Yeah, cantilevering. And then just above their heads here, there's going to be a waterfall that comes down and lands in front of them. Yep, correct. So we got to somehow get the fox blocks to come past and a bit of an angle because you don't want people swimming by and whacking their heads on it. Right, yeah. It should start just maybe an inch or two past the outside of the pool. And then it'll start to go up. Yeah. On, I think and your rock way. work will be over top of that. Yeah. So they'll be able to lean their head on the rock. Yeah, pretty much. But that waterfall comes over their head and lands in the pool. So they'll be able to sit here under the waterfall. Yeah, we're trying to make it look like a like a grotto where you're you can kind of swim under the waterfall and you're hidden from you know everybody else so you have your own little space in here. So that's why we want to try to enclose close off the sides like that. So those walls there will get up <laughs> six foot eight. And then there's a floor up there, that's where the water gets up and it comes over this. Right. That's the the back side of this will be the cave. So there'll actually be an opening in the uh on the back wall of the grotto. So they can climb up out of here and go into the cave. And scoot into the cave, yeah. Cool. Okay, well that's what we're building today. So let's start Long. building. <coughs> hey, that's it for me today. I'm only working half a day. And we put this, this floor here, that's just temporary to put a concrete deck on top. And people are gonna have this sitting area underneath while they're in the pool. And then this waterfall is gonna come over top of their head into the, into the pond here, one of Randy's things. Up there we did a wall and we actually tilted the wall back so it's on an angle because we need, I don't know, it's, Randy wanted that, so that's good. What else, Randy? Are we good? I would say good, good to go. A couple of days of this arts and crafts and we'll be pouring concrete. Ben and Sebastian are doing a bunch of crisscross walls here to support a slide that's gonna come into the pool here, all concrete, and concrete steps in the back there, and one more wall over there. But that's it for today. Well, I'm packing it up for the day. I've only worked a couple hours and we did this little wall here. There's actually going to be a waterfall going down that far corner. The waterfall happening right here. The Randy and his team are working on a slide coming around here. Set of stairs back there and then the retaining wall in the back. Very confusing. It's going to be a, a wall here just to keep people from falling off. A lot of detail and it's all different angles. There's not 190 used on this job. So it's all cuts, spray foam, tape, tie wire, and it'll be, it'll be perfect. And it'll give that substructure for all the rock work that Specialty Projects is gonna do. Okay, what do you think of that? That's, that's different, right? Like if you wanna see a basement getting put in, it's a thousand videos on how to do a basement. Not too many videos on how to do landscaping. And these are the kind of things we're starting to see. We're starting to see pools, a lot of pools, amazing amount of pools. So much that we had to do a whole pool document on our website. So if you go to our resource center on the website, you'll find a whole thing on pools. But this one was landscaping. And hopefully within a week, we've got the next video out on the concrete. And you'll get to see if this thing holds together, right? and they're actually using helix in the concrete. So they've got rebar on the slabs, but in most cases, they don't have much rebar. They're gonna be just using helix for this whole thing. So look for the next video. We'll see you then.